Former Ukrainian President Viktor Yushchenko spoke alongside his wife Katerina Yushchenko. Holodomor Studies Program founding coordinator Victoria A. Malko and Rotary International Secretary and Chief Executive Officer John Huko, at an event on the history and impact of the Holodomor genocide. Also pictured is former Ukrainian Finance Minister Natalie Jeresko, who served as moderator. Former Ukrainian President Viktor Yushchenko and Chicago Burn former First Lady Katerina Yushchenko. Reflected on 18 months since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022 during a trip to Chicagoland to talk about the history of Soviet-occupied Ukraine years. The two spoke to a packed house at Rotary International in Evanston on the 90th anniversary of the Holodomor, a year-long genocidal campaign waged by former Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin, whose effects are said to still be felt. From 1932 to 1933, Stalin carried out Holodomor by closing Ukraine's borders and taking away crops and agricultural equipment from Ukrainian farmers, describing it as an attempt by the USSR to collectivize agriculture in region. The Yushchenkos said that 10 million Ukrainians starved to death as a result. Two of the genocide survivors were Katerina Yushchenko's mother and father. Katerina named after her aunts, one of whom found the body of Katerina's grandfather, who hanged for alleged anti-Soviet activities, and the other, who stolen from her kindergarten when she three and never seen again. My family history was shaped by the Holodomor, he said. When Katerina Yushchenko, a former White House and State Department official who grew up in suburban Mount Prospect, first started visiting her family in Ukraine. She asked about the Holodomor and was told it never happened. Finally, her family told her how they were told to forget and wanted to forget. During his time in office from 2005 to 2010, Viktor Yushchenko strived to ensure that the world did not forget those who were lost in 2006. The Ukrainian parliament passed a bill declaring the Holodomor as genocide. He also led establishment of National Holodomor Museum in Kiev, Ukraine, which opened in 2008 on 75th anniversary of genocide. When Victor first created the museum, many people came, and it is interesting because we saw that many people, like my family, finally realized that knew again what knew and what thought did not know, said Katerina Yushchenko. He explained that many Ukrainians reject genocide out of fear and heartache that persists even years after Ukraine's December 1991 independence vote. This latest trip to Chicagoland served as an extension of Duo's goal of educating public about Holodomor's impact on population. We have an obligation to mobilize worlds so that we can speak with one voice regarding one of greatest tragedies of 21st century and recognize it as a genocide. Former president said, the history of Holodomor has connections to the current war in Ukraine. According to Victoria A. Malko, founding co